Hi guys, Bree here from Made by Mummy Homestead. Uh, I just want to talk to you really quickly about um, chick brooders. Sorry, the dogs next door are going off. Um, currently, my brooder is employed um, with our two and a half week old chicks, um, and I've got some quails due probably Wednesday or Thursday. I can't put those two species in the same brooder because the big chicks will just pick on the quails because they're tiny. I didn't time it very well. So I'm gonna um, make up a second brooder. It's really easy, really quick, and um, I've got all my equipment here. So I've just been down to the reject shop and just got a big tub, and I've got some my lamp, heat lamp, and um, some poultry um, Avery wire um, so I'll set that up and then I'll come and talk to you some more about brooders This is my main brooder. As you can see, the chicks aren't in here at the moment. They spend the day out in the, um, if it's a nice warm day, they spend it out in the yard in a separate pen, um, but in the chook yard, just so that all the other chooks can get used to them, start to get used to them. They're nearly three weeks old at the moment, so in another few weeks, they can go out with the others. Um, so the main thing um, you want a brooder to do is provide warmth and safety. This is just something I knocked up a couple of months ago. So it's just an old rabbit hutch um, that I got off the buy stop and sell. I do everything I can recycled. So um, this was just like $50 off the buy stop and sell. And all I've done is, um, because these bars are quite wide, I've put um, Avery netting over the top because I found, especially with quails, they are so tiny when they come out, they were just jumping through. And also I have cats, so the cats were able to stick their paws through. Um, so in here, I've got our heat source, which is just a clip-on lamp and um, with a ceramic heat bulb. The heat bulb I just got off eBay, these lamps are available in tons of different cheap stores around. Um, Puss cat. Sorry guys, my... This is Ellie. She likes to brush up against the camera. She's a naughty kitty. Um, yeah, so the lamps, um, you can use any type of lamp and just get a bulb that'll fit in it. Um, if you're going to buy one of these heat lamps off eBay, make sure it complies with Australian safety standards or whatever country you are, um, the electrical standards, because they do tend to set fire to things if they're not um, up to standard. Um, so these are just really simple. I just use puppy pads in the bottom and then put newspaper over the top. Uh, I find that when they get, the newspaper gets pooey, I just take a sheet out and then the next sheet underneath is fine. Um, when they get a little bit bigger, like they're three weeks old now and they're getting really grotty, um, when they're only new hatched, um, they're not so bad. But when they're three weeks old, the paper needs changing two or three times a day. Um, especially because I've got 13 at the moment. That's quite a lot to have in this space, which is why they spend a lot of the day outside. Um, so this is my temporary brooder, which you just saw me making. So all it is, is a plastic tub. This this type of brooder is okay for a temporary situation, but I wouldn't use this year after year. Um, it's I'm only gonna be using it in the short term. So I've just cut the top out and um, I made holes using a um, soldering iron. I just put holes in the plastic and use that to clip on um, some Avery mesh. 
that will keep my cats out easily. Uh, the cats could even knock the whole tub over and, and they won't be able to get into it. Um, and the same with that, I'll just put a puppy pad in the bottom and put newspaper in there. For quails, this will be quite sufficient, depending on how many I have hatch. Um, but that'll be, that'll be fine for just the beginning and then we'll see where we're at after that. So this will be, I think, <laughs> um, will be my last incubation for the spring. Um, and then this can all get put away till next year. So that's a fairly simple way to make it. And like, I've got the same sort of um, clip on there, um, lamp clip and the same heater, that one's just black colored one instead of the white one it's these heaters I find really good because they um, they give out heat but not light which I is a lot better for the chicks because it doesn't give them that artificial light all the time whereas if if they're under a heat light they're constantly under light and I've read studies where it shortens their lifespan which I like to do things a more of a natural way, so I would prefer not to shorten their lifespan artificially if I can avoid it. So I prefer to use these ceramic heat lamps instead of the light, or even the red light lamps. Um, so they're getting the normal, their normal circadian rhythm. And as for food and water, I just use regular, um, this is just a tiny little, water um, dispenser. I use these and um, it's out there with the chicks at the moment. Um, I, I just move them in and out wherever they are. I move the waterers and feeders to wherever they are. Um, so just a normal chicken feeder. Um, and they do make a hell of a mess until... So at the moment these this one is out of my deck. I've just moved it out here from in the house. Uh, it was getting quite messy and smelly, so they're out on the deck now, which is fine because it's quite warm. The lowest the temperature gets at night is about 14 degrees, and with the heat lamp in there, they're fine at that, at that temperature. The quails I'll keep in the house because they're a bit more susceptible to the cold when they're really young. Um, so they'll be in the house until they can go out. They're fully feathered and ready to go out with the adults at about three weeks of age. So they're a lot quicker to mature than the chickens. So they won't take quite as long to get out of the brooder. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments on brooders, let me know in the comments. Nice talking to you. See ya.